With the advent of the new consoles being released and all eyes being on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S units, it's unfathomable that Stadia can get any oxygen in the space, either albeit news or even attention from gamers. But once again, Stadia aims to surprise. As units get deplenished and Stadia Premier running out, silences another Stadia myth. Let's get into it. They sick cause I follow my gut They say I was pushing my luck I'ma push me a mat all black truck Oh, I'm not sorry what is up, people? What is up, people? What is up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of the Stadia Dosage. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when I'm dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so... As y'all have noticed earlier, I have had a lot of fun with my PlayStation 5. I also got my RTX 3070 coming in, courtesy of my good friend, Project Storm. He got me in a lot of trouble this week. No, that's all me. He was looking out, and he helped me get a 3070, y'all. That's what I've been looking for. So look, be looking out for better content from MM2K. Now I just got to get a better 4K capture card, an internal one, and we all set to go, baby. With that being said, um, I've had a lot of fun with it. But at the end of the day, most of my chips are with Stadia. You know, I, I love the convenience, I love the tech, and I love the vision that they have long term. So even though we gotta chalk this one up to the new consoles as far as bursting out of the scenes first with that 4K 60 technology, that's them smooth buttery frames, you know, and them high, you know, sharp resolutions. You know, it's not like Stadia has nothing like that right now i mean division two is is testament to that but they're going to have more and more titles that can do that and we're just waiting for stadia gen 2.0 to come about so we can be right up there with them adding to the increased tech that comes with the portability of what we're offering here with stadia that being said you know you can't take it away from these new consoles they're going to suck up all the oxygen out of the room the, they are the, the premier consoles. I, I've said it for several months now. State is not a premier platform, not just yet. It's still earlier on. It's okay. There's still a lot of things to appreciate and love and adore about the platform, but it's not a premier platform where it can buck with the PlayStation and the Xbox toe-to-toe -to -toe just yet. It will be, and it will be grander than that and soon to come once everything comes to fruition. But with that said, that's not to sit there and say that Stadia ain't getting no attention, that Stadia's in trouble, that state that nobody cares about Stadia. That's a bunch of bullpucky. What see, here's what we gotta understand. That there are two things that are happening there that are allowing us, those that know better, to sometimes be in doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because we get all this noise from the stratosphere. But those people that are the people that are committing that noise from the stratosphere are either doing it out of ignorance or they're doing it out of emotion. And when it comes to this game and stuff, baby, I can tell you just three years in, none of those are a good proposal to operate from. You always got to calm yourself down, count to 10, whatever you need to do, and think of, thing, think of things logically. That's why I always say, look at things from 5,000 feet. Get out of your space, look at things from a higher plateau, and that way you can see everything. That way, there's not a whole bunch of receipts out there on you, got you saying a whole bunch of silly ghibli gook, okay? Now, what am I talking about? Well, let me show you something. The week of greatness, the week of the most powerful console in the world, you know what I'm saying? The week of the most affordable way for casuals to get into gaming, you know what I'm saying? Those, we, have three, we, we literally had three consoles launching. You know what I'm saying? This generation that hit different demographics. And we've had talks about the 60 frame per second revelation going on with Stadia as it relates to Ubisoft. But that's a whole nother video. And we'll talk about that at another time. With that being said, many are echoing, and, 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 I, and I hate to say this is coming from within the community. I love the community. But again, we gotta keep, we got we gotta herd the sheep. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes and keep them from falling off the cliff. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, y'all. 
We got we, we hear a lot of murmuring that all oh, man Stadia is in, in serious trouble. Nobody's paying attention to Stadia. Well, I want to point you guys and gals to this. I say now that's what you call a success, and that's something that I say on Twitter. What am I talking about? Well, shout out to our friends at Stadia Source, your number one source for Stadia news. They have a story here that highlights free premiere edition for YouTube premium members has run out of stock. In the US, we've updated our article with official comment from Grace from Google, okay? So let me break this down a little bit. All right, so what has happened during the week of these consoles launching is Stadia is now piggybacking off of the very smart move to finally release Family Share. And for those of you that are on the platform, y'all know Family Share has quadrupled the number of active players we say we see consistently on this on the system i see more people than i ever have all at once everybody's going through that and the funny thing about it is that our good friend tom warren had the audacity because he don't do his due diligence to sit there and say oh i doubt that there's a hundred people on stadia of you know because of some other situation the same day that this revelation came to place and everybody got a hundred people on stadia right now because of family share so we shut them the hell up right well to piggyback off of that which is very smart and intelligent because stadia understands that even though we the five percent here and we walk around here to five percent like we're the 95 percent, but we're not so that's why i said we got to keep ourselves from nah falling off the cliff okay we got to be herded we are not the 95%. The 95% of gamers either are not just are not yet interested nor have the means to pick up new consoles. They either already picked up consoles or whatever. So all this was going on with the 4K60 and the ray tracing, they either don't care about it or they can't get into it right now. Stadia understands that. So what did Stadia do? Stadia went and said to all of you that are YouTube premium members as of November 6. Guess what? We got a special treat for you. We are sending you all. We're sending you all Stadia um uh premiere uh, editions that include the Car uh, Chromecast Ultra and the Stadia controller and 3 months free of Stadia Pro. I think it's 3 months. It might be 2 months now. But a few months free of Stadia Pro. We're sending that to you now. All you have to do is redeem this offer because we're not automatically going to send this out you have to actually go and do something and redeem this offer and guess what happened in the u.s alone already just a few days i think they released this on the 10th or as of the 12th they've already run out of stock for the promotion Grace from Google had to come on and say, you know what? We thought we were going to be running this for a little bit, but it's gone. Now, here's the thing that, again, we got to get out of our emotions and we got to get away from the ignorant people and we got to look at stuff from 5,000 feet. Okay. Why in the world during the week of PlayStation 5s being sold? Xbox Series X is being sold. Xbox Series S is being sold. Why in the world would anybody care to go redeem anything for the red-headed stepchild, which is Stadia? Why? I'm going to show you why. Several months ago, back in July, we at thebroadbandbullies.com, check us out for all your latest and greatest gaming news for everything, state, whatever it is. Just come check us out. All right. We had a story out there, courtesy of your boy, where we talked about why the X Cloud versus Stadia talks right now are foolish. This was an article that I drafted on the heels of everybody talking about all oh, the, the the slow music of the Titanic of Stadia is you know Stadia's going away. You know what I'm saying? Our good friend Paul Tassie that that didn't age well. As a matter of fact, I might retweet him and say, "Hey Paul, remember this tweet? Hey, check this out." You know what I'm saying? With that being said. We said it was foolish because xCloud at the time only ran on Android devices, phones and tablets. 
If you're going to say something is going to kill Stadia, that means that you not only cut off the pathway for more people to come in, but the people that are on it are willing to exit, okay? And what we said is y'all don't understand the cloud gaming dynamic right now. Right now, the cloud gaming dynamic is full of people that primarily want to play on either laptops and desktops or TVs. And we did a survey. We went out there on all the social media platforms and we did a survey of everybody that is a cloud gamer that we asked them to participate. All right. And we got people to, to participate in this poll. And as you can see here, we were able to show that 48% of the people polled wanted to game on PC and laptops that were cloud gamers. 41% were on TVs. 11% were on phones and tablets. Now, in response to this, I was told, well, hold on now. Once people get access to xCloud via its integration with Game Pass, you're going to see that revelation change. No, that hasn't been the case. Go to Google Trends. You will see that over the vast majority of time since xCloud and Game Pass has been integrated with each other, Stadia has tracked higher than xCloud. And you're starting to hear some grumblings from people like Brad Sams who said, you know what, xCloud just ain't ready. He tried to blame it on all the cloud gaming because he got to make Xbox not look too bad. But, he, but we all know better, right? It just ain't ready. So that's not the case. But more importantly than that, so we've already established that most people want to play on either PCs and laptops or TVs. But if you break down the Stadia subscriber, the people that are interested in, in Stadia, I shouldn't say subscriber, but the people that are interested in the platform, the overwhelming majority of them, per our polling, want to play Stadia on TV. Okay? I select a PC and laptop, as you can see, because I play most of my time on my PC or my laptop. But the vast majority of the Stadia community plays on TVs. Now, that then brings us back to common sense land. If everybody has been talking so bad about Stadia and the vast majority of the people that we interact with on Twitter represent the 5% that know about Stadia, but there's quote unquote, a bad taste in their mouth. And during the week of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series uh, consoles being released, why in the hell would anything Stadia be sold out or passed out or out of stock at all? Why? Simply because people were interested and getting into Stadia, but the way that they wanted to play was via their TVs, they just weren't willing to invest in it because of all of the murmur that was out there in the community. Now that they don't have to invest in it, and now and on the heels of them either not being successful in getting their PlayStation 5 or their Xbox Series consoles, now them being able to get into Stadia free just for something they've already paid for, YouTube per, uh, Premium, now they get to experience Stadia, they get to see the promise of it, and you might get a good number of them that say, hey, if this, if this technology is that quote-unquote magical, as the co-founder of PAX has said, if they get a hold of Division 2 or, or Doom or some of the other games that are just free, like PUBG, Destiny, if they get to play that, and Destiny isn't even 60 frames per second yet on the new consoles, not yet. So if they get to experience that now and say, ooh, we can do this on the quote-unquote zero-dollar console, we never have to upgrade, and then after that, Stadia announces 2.0, Gen 2.0, that is an ultimate success. So again, all those people, whether they're inside of the community, bah, the sheep that got to be clinched off the, of the cliff before they fall, or the people outside of the community, don't listen to the rhetoric. People wanted to play Stadia. They just didn't want to put the money towards it because they were told by all these entities that no it's not worth it no it's not worth it but they were highly interested and now that it's coming via youtube premiere why would they waste their time 
during the same time that they are trying to uh, secure PlayStation 5 and Xboxes online. Why would they waste their time to go away from that to go get something that they're not interested in that they're not going to try? This was the smartest thing that I think Google Stadia has done in a, in a while since the, uh, the release of the platform. And they keep getting better and better as far as the mindshare attempts that they're working on. Is everything perfect yet? No, not yet. But they are getting better and better at this stuff. And this right here is a class, classic example of doing the smartest thing you can with the resources that you have. And this is going to bode well for them. So that's why I say, for those of you who don't want to jump off the cliff and say, oh no, Stadia's done this, stop, pace yourself, calm down, look at things from 5,000 feet. We still got a long ways to go, it's still the early days here, but again, Stadia is doing better with Mindshare and they're getting better and better at this thing, period. And with that said, that is it from your boy. MM2K. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadman Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with all that said, say hello to your new comrades that'll soon be on Stadia. That friends list is going to grow even more. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.